Do you really think he's capable of understanding how a phone works? Uh... We've been walking for ages. Who knew that a cave could be so spacious? Does Lycurgus even live here anyways? I don't want to walk in heels for longer than I have to. It's not often I have visitors. Bickering ones at that. Uh, dragon! Please don't eat us, almighty oh, dragon! I taste like ashes anyways! Huh. The storm certainly is raging out there. What a horrible night to explore these woods. <laughs> Care for some tea, explorers? Well, actually, sir, we came here looking for a friend of ours. A large gray wolf. I think his name was... Lycurgus. There's only one gray wolf that roams these parts. So it seems we're in search of the same canine. Say, the weather's in no condition to be out looking for someone, but... A friend of like is a friend of mine. How about we wait out the weather together? And how about we have some fun to pass the time? Hey, Mr. Uh... Vermithrax. But please, call me Verm. Would you mind singing a song or two with my boyfriend? He gets annoying once he gets bored. Oh, ho ho! Singing! It's been a while since I've dusted off my old windpipes. Show me what you can do, small fellow. Ahem.
You certainly have quite the self-confidence, little man. I've never done a rap battle before. How thrilling! How about a second round to deduce a champion, hmm? Ho ho! You never fail to impress me with that confidence of yours. By the way, you said that you and Lycurgus sang together? Oh, I do miss the days he and I would sing. I'm surprised you even managed to convince him in the first place. Well, it wasn't easy. You see, after we sang for a while, he seemed... different. He was... unstable and frightening. Like, something had taken over him. Well, would you look at that! The brat and his girlfriend came back for more. I really should be thanking you for saving me that trip to exact my revenge on you two. Are you... the same demon that took over like Kirkus? Huh. Aw. Oh, don't you recognize me, sweetheart? <laughs> yes, that brawny imbecile was my puppet last we met. However... I prefer this new host much more if I do say so myself. Leave Verm alone, you jerk! Any longer. 
Festering them has given me the strength I need to materialize a body for myself! Both of you... get out of here. I've had enough! Time to take care of you brats the way I should've in the first place! Enough, beast! I won't let you harm the few who have been kind to me, like you have before! I'm ending this once and for all! Ha! <laughs> Try as you might. Your blows will have no effect on me. I am the culmination of perfection! Worm! Are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. While you took your sweet time getting here, I thought I'd use that good old friend of yours as a host of torture. <laughs> good old friend. Verm. Verm Thermrax. For years I wondered who that kind face was. My memories were faded. Unclear. As though they'd been taken from me. I won't allow you to take anything more! If it's a fight you're looking for, then it's a deal. If you can best me in this child's absurd melodic game, then I'll leave this force once and for all. Otherwise, I'll continue to torture this vessel, seeing as though it brings you so much anguish. <laughs> Shake on it! Once a demon shakes on the deal, there's no going back on it. Trust me, I would know.
No. How? In this body, I should be capable of... <sighs> now that felt good. It's over, demon. Take your leave. May you be tormented endlessly by the villagers you've massacred. A deal's a deal. It's not like you have a choice. Curse you all! Curse the filth that you mortals are! I'll be back one day! Mark my words! That... thing is gone. Finally. I wouldn't count on it. Even if it's banished because of the deal we made, I'm sure it'll find a way back to the overworld once again. Well, this time, you won't be alone anymore. If the demon does decide to return, you'll have us by your side. Settle down, old friend. Care for some tea? Of course. Thank you, old friend. <laughs>